All right, guys, I'm back this morning, and to my surprise, the guys are actually here installing the gutters. So this side has a little fascia, that's why it's painted black. The other side doesn't have a fascia, but they're gonna put them on anyways. I'll just have to live with it. I might be able to kind of slide it in afterwards, right? I guess, I guess we'll see. Um, I didn't realize that it needed to be done prior to actually having the gutters installed. Um, that's something that the roofers were supposed to do and didn't tell me about it. So um, I was under the impression that they were going to do that. I didn't, I didn't realize that I was supposed to finish that, right? So um, maybe I'm not supposed to. Anyways, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good up here. Um, I'm just happy that the gutters are here. You know, it took about six months, but um, but the day is today. I still got to replace that little corner there, but as you guys can see, everything looks pretty good. So, again, they didn't. The roofers failed to to put something there. I'll I'll be honest with you. For the amount of time this took to get done, I'm I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I am disappointed. But I guess that's that's what happens whenever you you know the person. It's been six months. You you saw a video when everything was done, right? And uh, just now, six months later, the gutters were installed, and I'm I'm very disappointed. I'm thankful that the job was done, but the amount of time and the communication that it took, I feel like I was always calling, trying to figure out, hey, what's going on with the gutters? What's going on with the gutters? You know? So I'm I'm very disappointed. And I know this person. And um, I don't know, that makes me not want to do business with people that I know. Or small businesses, which is crazy. You would think that you would think that we would want to support small businesses and people that you know. But if this is the way people that you know do business, I'd rather go with a big company. You know, somebody that I know I can depend on, which is which is not cool. It, it bums me out more than anything, you know. I am thankful that it's done, finally but I'm disappointed in the amount of time that it took to get done. And on top of that, this is incomplete, you know? They're up, it is what it is. It is what it is now. I'm not gonna take the time to take it off, put it back on. It's on, I'm, we're just gonna have to move on. I mean, besides that, I think they look great. Gotta finish this side also. So right now it's Christmas time, and obviously I don't have any any Christmas lights or I don't really have anything going on, right? Um, but when when I do put up the Christmas lights, I don't want to have an extension cord from the side of the home or from the back of the home, right? I don't want to do that. I want it to be nice and clean. So what I decided to do, and I thought about this, the same day that I was talking about the speakers, I ran this wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a little box right over here. So for the future, all I got to do is put up the Christmas lights, plug them in, and we'll be set. We'll be ready to go. Okay, so I did think about that, and I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm just going to have to replace all of this because it looks pretty nasty. I mean, look at this. This thing's falling apart, right? So, all right, guys, let's go see what the guys are doing inside. Today, I uh, now that I'm here, I was planning on installing the trim around the home. That's 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 kind of what I was planning, right? The guys can go inside and do their thing, and then I can finish the exterior. Um, but it looks like it looks like I'm actually going to end up helping them out. Uh, the interior has got a bunch of cut up sheetrock, so I got it loaded on the truck. I'm going to take it to the dump and just see if I can lay a hand. Um, hopefully, I can learn how to do this too, right? Because it's supposed to be DIY. They're just they're just helping me out. So. It's 
soporta el odio. <risa> no, es que la insolación está pesada. Oh. Y hace que mira. Empuja todo, ah. Pero no, va a ser la insolación, no hay insolación aquí. Va a ser los barrotes. Bro, si yo hubiera hecho esto, uh, aquí duró un año más. Algo leve. ¿Eh? Qué chingón, bro. Se ve chido. Va a quedar chingón, eh. ¿Eh? ¿Sí? Sí. Ya estuvo. These guys are hard at work, and I gotta be completely honest with you, I am super impressed with the way the, the home is looking. Everything looks sharp. Now, the home is not 100% square, right? Over time, things have been uh, tweaked. So they're having a little bit of a hard time putting it together, but I gotta tell you, it looks really good either way. I mean, just look at it from this angle. I think it looks really nice. They're pretty much done with all the rooms except for the laundry room. Um, all the holes for the lights have been cut out, including the ones that were missing the little plates, right? I think everything looks really nice. They even cut out the hole for the LED uh, fireplace. I think that looks really cool. Now, let me tell you, I went down to a place called Pro Build and I got a bunch of stuff. I got a roll of paper uh, for when the mudding uh, happens. Some of this drywall product, some staples, and uh, the little corners, right? We have the option to go with the little curved one. Um, I think they call it bull nose or the, uh, the, the, the angle, right? The 90 degree angle. We're going with the 90 degree angle. I think it looks sharper and it's a lot more affordable by the way. So, but we're also getting um, some of the offset ones that go here. I only got a couple because that's all I need. So I only got a couple for here. The rest of the guys ended up taking off, but as you can see, it's looking pretty spiffy in here. Uh, I can obviously I can hear the little the reverb. It sounds completely different. There's a lot more echo in here, and uh, I like it. I think it looks great. One of the guys is gonna come back tomorrow, finish up, and then this Sunday he's gonna finish. He's gonna tape everything. He's gonna mud everything. Now I don't know how much longer it's gonna take for it to dry for him to come back, sand it but I think it's gonna be next week. I think it looks great. Clearly, this is the dining area. We're gonna have the light, the chandelier hanging from here. TV is gonna be mounted over there. This is the kitchen area once again, and I've talked about this plenty. There's gonna be an island right here. The refrigerator is gonna be on that side. The stove's gonna be right there. Microwave, all of that, right? There's gonna be an additional cabinet here. This room still needs to be done, but I mean, just look at the difference. This looks crazy. I cannot believe that we went from this to this in a matter of just two days. This is insane. I love it though. Let's go check out the boys' rooms. This one has got the window cut out. You got the control panel. Looks pretty nice. Very good. This one, oh, the window's done too. Nice. Well, there it is. The next step is to finish up the laundry room and then they're gonna mud everything, get it all cleaned up and ready to go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. The only thing that we got to do now is muddy, like I've been saying, and uh, pretty much call it good. So we'll see where we go from there. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're into the whole DIY experience. And I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and follow along our DIY home renovation journey. See you on the next one.